Ahoy matey and welcome to a new video here on the official FTG Arena YouTube channel. My name is Ms. Lizzle and today we are playing with some new and exciting cards from the Little Scammers of Ixlon and we will be exploring the caverns and looting the treasure because we are playing Is That Pirates today. All right, so we're playing a pirate deck and in the Little Scammers of Ixlon, pirates are aggressive and have artifact synergy going for them. So there are two cards that work together greatly that show the synergy off pretty well. So we have the Spike with Siren, a one mana Siren Pirate with flying that upon entering the battlefield creates a map token, which is an artifact token that you can pay one mana for and sacrifice it. And when you do so, you get the Explorer. You have this other one drop called Goblin Tomb Raider, which is a Goblin Pirate that gets plus one plus zero and haste as long as you control an artifact. So with the map token from the Siren, the Tomb Raider has haste. Now Captain Storm Cosmium Raider is a two mana human pirate that also synergizes with artifacts because whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you can put a one one counter on target pirate you control. So that kind of brings us to our pirate payoff card, Breach's Eager Pillager. Now, Breach's is a three-drop goblin pirate with first strike that says whenever a pirate you control attacks, choose one that hasn't been chosen this turn. Target creature can block this turn, exile the top part of your library, you may play this this turn, and create a treasure token. And this treasure token creation will also trigger your Captain Storm if you have her in play. Now, Breach's is super flexible, super powerful, and just a fantastic payoff card. Now, no pirate deck is complete without a ship. So we are playing four copies of the subterranean schooner in this deck. That is two drop vehicle with crew one that turns into a three four attacker when it's crewed is incredible. And on top of that, the creature that crewed it explores. Now this is a great way to fix the top of your deck while also buffing up your board. I honestly think it's one of the best cards in the set. And now I don't want to say bank buster 2.0, but we're also playing Malcolm, Alluring Scoundrel, which is a 2-mana two 2-1 two Siren Pirate with Flash and Flying that says whenever Malcolm deals school damage to a player, put a Chorus Counter on it, draw a card, then discard a card. Now, if there are four or more Chorus Counters on Malcolm, you may cast a discarded card without paying its mana cost. And I love some hand fixing, and more than that, I love free spells. And Malcolm gives you both. Staunch Crewmate also gets played in the deck. This is a 2-mana human pirate that upon entering the battlefield allows us to look at the top 4 cards and pick an artifact or pirate card from them to put in our hand. And once again, we have the artifact synergy present here as well. Now we're playing an aggressive deck <laughs> that plays red. So you already know we're playing Kumano um, in this deck since it's the best and most aggressive one drop in standard. So now it's time to get into our removal and we've picked up a spicy new card in the form of Kitesil Larcenist. Now Kitesil is a three mana, two, three human pirate with flying in ward one. And when the Larcenist enters the battlefield for each player, choose up to one target artifact or creature that player controls. And then for as long as the kite sail is on the battlefield, the chosen permanent becomes a treasure. And we're also playing three copies of Voltage Surge in this deck, since we have access to quite some artifact tokens, like maps and treasures. And Voltage Surge allows you to sacrifice an artifact, and then it deals four damage to a creature or planeswalker for one mana. And then we're also playing a few copies of the Witch Talker Frenzy. Now, one of the greatest pickups from the Lost Caverns of Ixalan is that our Tybal decks now have access to Cavern of Souls, which is a land where you can choose a creature type and then we can add mana of any color to cast a creature of the chosen type and most importantly the creature cannot be countered so this deck basically has everything that you need for it to be like a good aggro deck we have great aggressive creatures great removal hand fixing card draw evasion you name it most importantly we have a fantastic flavor i mean who doesn't want to play with some pirates but before we get into it don't forget to like and subscribe and if you enjoy what you're seeing so far you can also check out some of my own content over on my own channel now shout out to wizards for allowing me to make another video for you guys and without further ado let's get into some pirate gameplay Arr! okay um i don't hate it i wish i had like a, a way to cast kumano on one though um but i'm I'm not against it. I really like the subterranean schooner. Like I'm, I'm such a big fan of this card. Like I don't think I understand. I, I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm hyping this thing up too much, but I'm such a fan. It's put in so much work for me. It fixes so many of like your, like your top decks, all of that. I think it's, I think it's perfect. I think it's fantastic. Uh, so how am I going to go about this? So probably. Um, Still start off with the subterranean schooner, I think. Let's see if we can fix our top decks. Yeah. 
Why not? Also, the Gaetil Larsenis feels really awesome in decks like this. We're a little bit off to like a slow start here, but I mean, it's it's intentional because I, I chose to keep this hand <laughs> on the draw. So, yeah, we'll see. All right, opponent be ramping up. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do Captain Storm, I think. And then we're going to Volta Surge to Bremel Familiar. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm not sacrificing that. No, 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 no. Uh, zero, please. <laughs> Could you imagine? We're not doing that. Okay. Here we go. So, swing. Then that explores. Oh, it's Breaches! Breaches is so... Yeah. I love Breaches. Breaches is awesome. I, I hope you guys can see the power of Breaches in about one second here. This card is so sweet. Especially because it like says that a pirate just needs to attack. Breaches doesn't even have to like attack necessarily, which makes it so much better. So anyways, we got Breaches here. We're going to crew the schooner and we're going to swing with both. So I'm thinking what I'll do is uh, I'll probably just create a treasure, which will trigger the captain. And then I'm going to give the counter to the captain. Yep, that gets haste, so I'm down for that. And then um, let's just do Kumano here, and we can play the Tomb Raider with haste. Like, you guys, do you see it? Like, I'm obsessed. Like, this is by far, like, my favorite, my favorite brew. I honestly, when I was looking at Ixalan, I didn't think a whole lot of, like, um, the, uh, the pirates. I don't know why, but I was just like, meh. I kind of, like, looked over it a bit much. I was focused on vampires, I was focused on dinos, you know. And here, the pirates are absolutely giving me everything I need. Um, so I could do... I could get rid of that. I kind of want to. I can pay the word cost, so I think I will go for that. So yeah, the larcenist is kind of, like... you. you it can be one-sided. Like, I don't have to choose to turn something into a, an artifact here. I can just... Or into a treasure. I can just submit zero. So I'll choose my opponents, I'll pay their ward cost. And then I'm gonna crew. Oh man, I love this thing. Okay. And we're gonna swing. So we get two breaches triggers. So I will do can bulk this turn, and then I'll do create a treasure. A woman counter. Let's put it on. Let's just put it on Captain Storm. Yeah, why not? She's worked hard for it. Um do I want the spikeless siren? So it is a fantastic way to like crew. Yeah, probably. I don't mind that because it will trigger Captain Storm. It gives us a great schooner target. And we're chilling. I mean, I think we're already winning here anyways, but you know, like. We'll see. God, I love pirates. I wish I had a pirate head for you guys. Also, in this video, for sure, like, this is just game one, you'll hear me say, God, I love pirates, about, like, 30 more times. <laughs> so, I hope you're I hope you're ready for it. I, I hope you're ready. Anyways, uh, yeah, a little bit lethal here. And we'll, uh, we'll crew, so that triggers. We'll crew. One. Oh my god, it's fantastic, it's amazing. Breaches gets everything, so we'll do that. XL top card, create a treasure, go absolutely crazy. Oh, it's Malcolm. Oh. Deck has everything, guys. It really does. I'm not to like sell you on this, but I feel like I, I am. <laughs> How awesome. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. The Tomb Raiders and the Schooner. We also have the Cavern of Souls. You never know, just in case. It could it could help us out. Um, yeah, this is this is sweet. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna start with a Tomb Raider here. Okay. It's the uh, oh, it's Dinos. That's gonna get interesting. Uh, okay, so the Schooner will at least give us the um, the buff on the Tomb Raider, so we can attack. Belligerent Yearling is. Also, so, so powerful. If you do, like, Yearling into the, the six power... Okay, I kind of jinxed myself there. Look how strong that is. Unreal. So, so good. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna do Pirate. 
And I kind of think we got no choice but to, like, take out the hammer skull because it's just so good. Uh, I'm on zero on my end. It's kind of, like, scary giving them um, a treasure, but... Yeah, we just we just got to keep moving, right? Land? Okay. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. Because then we have both the church open and, like, our own a new larcenist or something if we need to. I think. So that's not bad. Oh god, it's another. <laughs> oh no. I'm getting soloed by this belligerent yearling. This is crazy. Yep. Take eight, I guess. Oh my god. Yeah, so we're gonna do that on pirate as well. We're then gonna, like, run it back. Larcenist, grab a uh, zero, grab hammer skull. Uh, how brave am I? I don't know. Am I brave? Maybe. I think I am. Am I racing them? Do I dare? Probably. I'm going for it. Uh, so that would be on top, but I only have one mountain. I already have one. I'm right at the bottom that. Um... Do I... Okay. I'm trying to think, because obviously I'm, I'm trying to like hold a voltage search here and stuff. We could also hold a Witch Shocker Frenzy. I guess we just pass the turn? Oh god, it's another! <laughs> the Hammer Skulls, no! Okay. Well... We'll see, I guess. I got my voltage surge. I'm armed. You'll too do, do too. Please let me live. Okay, good. Perfect. We go to four. And then I guess we're gonna find out. We win the game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Larson is putting in the work on that one. Oh my goodness. Hey. Oh, nice. Oh, I love that. Love that. So we have the spyglass. Oh, this is perfect. Like, okay, anyways, let me <laughs> let, let me get to it first. Um, okay, so ooh, how do I want to start this? So the spyglass siren works with Captain Storm very well. So I think we're gonna just start off with Goblin Tomb Raider here. Now Tomb Raider, is that gonna have an artifact in play? It does get haste, and we don't have that right now. Um, we do still get the buff of it though. Uh, we should at least. So, yeah, I, I've learned one thing, and that is just whenever I can play the schooner out, just immediately, immediately, don't even hesitate. So that's what we're going to do here, um, which will buff up the Goblin Tomb Raider to power. Perfect. Um, the opponent is playing the ghoul, like, Golgari, like, fun, fun guy stuff, which is awesome. <laughs> Love that, too. Okay, Bluntrude Prowler, sweet. Very cool. Swing. Yo, okay, so we're gonna do Pirate here. So we are in, like, in Breach's range now. I'm not against, like, Captain Storm into Spyglass Siren first. Um, or, yeah, yeah, I'm not against that. Like, to try and, like, buff up the board a little bit more here. So Spyglass Siren is going to trigger Captain Storm. And we'll give the counter to the Golden Tomb Raider. We're going to crew off the Spyglass Siren. Because it's value. We're going to swing. Buff that up. Do I want another boat? I'm probably okay for, with one for now. Even though, like, this card puts in the work. I think I should probably look for removal of some sort, because the opponents should pop off soon. Um, but yeah, next time we're looking at breaches, and we're looking at like three activations on the card, so we're going to be able to card the top, treasure, make something unblockable, which is awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> this deck is so... I, I didn't... Like I said earlier, I didn't think I could play pirates. But I've never been happier to, to be playing pirates. 
Yeah, okay, so there's a Kuali. Ooh, they swing. Okay, that's fine. Works for me. Another land. Perfect. Love that. Let's go. Pirates. So we're gonna do Goblin Tomb Raider. We're gonna do Breaches. We're gonna do Crew Off Breaches. Swing with the team. We're gonna then, uh... Let's see, we're gonna create a treasure which will trigger the captain. Can block on Aquali, and then we're gonna do XL top card. Don't know how relevant that will be, but we'll buff up the Spyglass Siren. Give it to my flyer. Let's go! <laughs> this is so good! So good! I love it! Okay, so we're on the draw, and it kind of starts on two, but we do have double cavern, we do have breaches. It's got a lot of like you know, green flags. So we're going to keep that hand. Malcolm as well with the flash is going to be putting in the work for us too. So we'll start over an island here. Um, and we'll see. Dinosaur. More dinos. Yeah, I wish I could get rid of that thing, but we'll have to wait a turn, on, uh, turn I'm afraid. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do pirate, Kevin on pirate. We're going to pass a turn. Malcolm is going to be flashing on their end step. We're then gonna... Well, unless this thing gets really scary, but... Malcolm is gonna activate Breaches. Breaches is gonna give us a treasure, and we enable our Voltage Surge. I think that's the best kind of thing that we can do right now. Roll back. Okay, that's fine. Makes sense why they uh, didn't play a Dino before combat. So we're gonna flash in Malcolm. And then Cavern of Souls, Pirate, Breaches. Breaches also has First Strike, which is awesome. Here we go. So we're going to do Create a Treasure. And give ourselves the opportunity to full it Surge. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get rid of my backup Malcolm, actually. This is a bit brave, because Malcolm is a very, very good card. But, yeah. Hoping Dinos doesn't have too much interaction. They, they usually do. Okay, so it's Quint is going to... Do, oh, let's see what they pick, I guess. So they're gonna fight, I imagine, and get rid of breaches. What about Dino is gonna deal the damage? Okay. Hoping it would be the Yearling. <laughs> they're on to me, though. That's fair. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna remove the Yearling here. Make it easy on them. There we go. Yeah. You'll be, you will be missed, breaches. You will be. Okay, um, nothing like super scary just yet. I'm just trying to figure out if... Let's start off with a swing here. Let's see what we draw. Another crewmates. Um, okay. I'm gonna do start off with crewmates, see what we get. Oh, it's a schooner though, that's really good. I'm, I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play that out. It's a good defender as well for us, you know? As a 3-4, like, it blocks the dinos, like, really, like, efficiently. Much better than a 2-1 would. So we will make that work. Okay. Raptor could be a little painful. Uh, we're gonna crew. And we're just gonna block the frill back. Take six, I guess. Yikes. Okay. Courtyard on pirate. I'm uh, just trying to figure out what I want to do here, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a larcenist moment. Grab the Rampaging Raptor. Uh, yeah, probably. I'm trying to figure out, like, I want to do it pre-combat. I think I need to play it a little safe here. So I'm going to submit zero, grab the Raptor. It's very scary to get the ramp like dinos up, though. Very scary, but. Do we take these risks? So I'd be swinging in for seven. But my opponent's in nine. I'm just trying to feel like, can I win, like, win on the crackback? Maybe. We did it before, we could do it again, you know? New Malcolm, we don't need that. 
does that hit for me? Spot, spot, okay, so that would trigger Captain Storm, and it crews nicely. So we're going to do Captain Storm, last turn, and let's see. If I got a chump with the captain, I guess I would. Frillback. Okay, so Frillback will definitely destroy the schooner. They're gonna gain a the life. They might exile my graveyard if they feel like it. I don't think they would. It's just gonna be life gain, destroy artifact, I think. Yep. Activate it twice. That makes sense. Uh, we're well, actually looking at three of them. Okay, so destroy, exile, gain a life. Okay, that's fine. At least not some, like, huge dinosaur slammed on the board or something like that, huh? <laughs> uh, okay. So Malcolm has three chorus counters on it, meaning that the discard, we can, uh, cast the discarded card without paying its cost. So I'm gonna maximize my... Captain Storm triggers by playing both of my like cre creatures or my, my Spike of Siren, which will give me a map, which will buff up a creature, and a schooner, which is an artifact, so it will buff up a creature. We're gonna about, go about it like this. Um, we're then gonna swing with these besties. And whatever Malcolm discards, we can play for free, so let's have a look. Land. All right, sure. Doesn't matter. I, I didn't want to miss out on the points of damage because it's quite relevant. We have like seven, I guess eight in the air right now. Then again, like nothing miss. It's not, yeah. Looking good. All right. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um. Probably not. I kind of would like to find two lands. <laughs> That's better. We'll do. Um, We'll keep the cavern. We'll keep the ship and reef. Let's get started here. Classic start. Kumano on one. And then we can uh, Malcolm on two, I think. Or maybe if we work with the Tomb Raiders, I wouldn't mind that either. But yeah, it's going to look like Malcolm on two. Let's choose Pirate. Malcolm. And do it in our turn because we um, we want to get the one-one counter. I'm not going to just let that go to waste. Ideally, we can find a, an artifact somewhere. Like, I wouldn't mind a schooner or something. Pilgrimage. Okay. This card uh, works incredible with convo cards. It blew me away. <laughs> blew me away how good that was. Alright, Malcolm. Alright, so I'll do crewmate. Maybe look for uh, the siren. Ooh, a whiff. Okay. The siren one drop would have been awesome because then the goblin tomb raiders go online. Let's see what it is. Deeper Wayfinder. Cool, cool, cool. Um. So I have the opportunity to get rid of this. I will probably take it. At three toughness, it's not ideal. I also don't mind putting another flyer down. Um. So. Giving myself a treasure here would enable the Tomb Raiders. I want to say that's worth it. So let's choose that. Um, we kind of got to wait, because we don't want to, like, crack the treasure. <laughs> and then, like, you know, make our Tomb Raiders not work again, so. Let's see, we're swinging. As Malcolm slowly grows, the chorus counters. <gasps> it's a schooner. Might be a bit too late at this point, though. I think I'd rather have the haste from the, the Tomb Raiders next turn. And see how close we can get. Hexcatcher. Ooh. But I'm glad Hexcatcher is finally, like, should be playable in Standard. I love that card. I can be a merfolk enjoyer. Even though back in the day I used to hate it. I used to despise merfolk because I thought the deck was too powerful. <laughs> I thought the deck was way too powerful for uh, its own good. Uh, okay, so that is quite the wall that they just put up against us, huh? So if I put my both my Tomb Raiders in play, I will push 3, 5, 7 damage. 
I don't even I don't even hate that actually. I don't even hate that. I can also just fly in the air, do it like in the air only, really. Which should always be enough anyways. So I'll just fly. Um mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, I'll keep the Witch Stalker, I guess. Could get rid of the Hex Sketcher right now. Is that worth it? You would disable your Tomb Raiders. No, not really. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. I don't know what the Roaring Throne of Triggered Ability... Okay, sure. Interesting. I guess it's for exploring stuff. I think we got him, though. <laughs> All right, awesome. Yeah, Merfolk's cool, though. I really, I really like it. Ooh, what a fantastic hand. Siren and Schooner together. We even got breaches. Yeah, this is great. All right, let's get started. Spike the Siren. Cool. We'll swing and play my Schooner. And uh, we have the pirate. We have a ship. We're ready to go. <laughs> we don't need anything else. We are ready. Okay. Pirate again. Gonna be uh, chilling with breaches. Crew. Attack. Get the trigger. We'll do um. We'll do treasure. Okay. We have an island. We'll just wait. Fight regain. Okay, cool. This is just five damage, huh? And most things now will be like six power already. Okay, well, definitely slamming this then um, immediately. Here we go. And let's do... So I could get two breaches triggers, or I can get a little bit more power. I think I prefer to power over here. So we're going to do breaches and schooner. I will probably do... Exile the top card. I'm looking pretty good on, like, everything else. I don't need another... Thing for six. Play my Risen Reef. Shiven. Why is it Risen Reef? That is not... Shivan Reef. <laughs> Risen Reef is this really cool three drop <laughs> in semicolors that works with elementals. I love that thing though. Go for throw on breaches. You know, that is fair. That is fair. Tomb Raider. Cool. As long as I can crew my boat, I'm happy. But we're gonna go about it like this. Here we go. Swing with the team. I'll take Malcolm. Witch Shocker Frenzy. We're not out of this just yet, because if the opponent finds a way to uh, trigger fight rigging, and we don't know what evil things are under that, <laughs> we are in trouble. Alright, cool. We got him, though. Nice. 